Looking for a USB sound card? Let's check it out. Hey yo, what's up guys, it's me Mr. Game here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys, which is the Ugreen sound card or sound adapter. I wish that I knew this product way earlier so that I won't spend my money on purchasing the NT Road USB mic mini. By the way, if you guys have not checked that out, maybe I'll link it down in the description box below so you can take a look. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing. Unboxing it for the first time. Packaging design looks kind of simple and minimalist. Inside the box, there's nothing printed on it, no branding or whatsoever. The first thing inside the box you will see is the hero product followed by an instruction menu. And I believe this piece of paper is the warranty card which you can ignore basically. And here's the hero product. It's a very slick design, I would say. Looks good. It is a USB connection, so any mic you have with a 3.5mm headphone jack, you can actually convert it into a USB output. And there's also a DAO button, which allows you to monitor your output. Not only that, there's also two buttons which allows you to muting and unmuting for both audio, output, and also voice input. They also included USB Type-C adapter, which is a good thing so that you can use it for your any device that has USB Type-C. Now let's take a closer look to the product itself. There are three ports in this device, which the icon already indicates what it does for all of them. The first pink port being the microphone only port, followed by a black port which is an audio and microphone port, which is a very common for most headphone and earphone nowadays. And the last green port is the audio only port. Two buttons like I mentioned earlier, they are for mute and unmute. First button being the mute output for audio and the next button will be muting the mic which is great if you are doing live streaming and you are talking to someone you don't want to let anybody on the stream know you can just press the button and this button will come in very very handy and there's a beautiful dial to control the volume of the output or the sound Okay, after all this introduction to you guys, now I'm going to share a little secret on how to connect this device with a Rode Video Micro which I had and I also did a product review on that too. If you have not checked that out, I will link it down in the description box below too. Okay, over here I have my TRRS cable from Rode to connect for this testing and all you need to do is very simple, connect your TRRS cable, make sure the black area is connected to your root video. Now, the grey head then connect to one of the microphone jet. Just make sure you connect the correct port in order for it to work. Next, all you need to do is to connect it to your computer. After everything is done, just click on the button and the blue light will light up. And that also indicates that the button is active. Right now, I'm going to test the Rode Video Micro Sound to the computer using that device. Test, test. This is a microphone test. And this testing is from the Rode Video Micro. And this is a sound test, sound test. And right now, I am chipped back to the Rode NT USB Mini. Not sure, do you guys hear that any different? Hopefully there is, if not, I'm going to be very very hard pain. You'll be asking who needs the sound card or sound adapter. Well, you never know when you need it. Reason being is that you might decide to get a better microphone for your computer or maybe your sound port on your computer is spoiled. So this product might come in handy. For people who already own a Rode Video Micro or Pro or whatever mic that comes with 3.5mm headphone jet, congrats as you already halfway there and you can connect straight to use it as your podcast mic. And there you have it, that's all for my video for today. If you guys enjoyed this content, do help me by giving me a like, 
click on the subscribe button to be my friend comment in the comment section below and i will see you in my next video okay thanks bye